more hard. Vacuum cleaner. Yes. How would that work? Uh, this would, this part here would. Ah, manually. So is that any Sherlock Holmes love interest? Mrs. Hudson's room. Mrs. Hudson was the housekeeper. Ah, the housekeeper. But that was not the lady on the picture. Yeah. That's on purpose, isn't it? Yeah. But he didn't keep people in his house. No, no. But there's giving you again the Some scenes Like this lady holding the head the the hair. So these are these are different little bits and pieces from several different stories. The Glorious Scott. This is Jack Prendergast. Sherlock Holmes solves a mystery from a man's past. The cell of the convicts, instead of being thick oak, as is usual in convict ships, are quite thin and frail. The man next to me was one whom I particularly noticed. He was a young man with a clear, hairless face, a long, thin nose, and rather nutcracker jaws. I'm Jack Prendergast, said he, and by God, you'll learn to bless my name before you're done with me. Okay. I'm sure that they make it in the Madame Tussauds Museum because it's quite real. of the Copper Beaches. This is Miss Violet Hunter. Dear Mr. Holmes, I am very anxious to consult you as to whether or not I should accept the situation which has been offered to me as governess. I shall call at half past ten tomorrow if I do not inconvenience you. As you will observe, Mr. Holmes, my hair is somewhat luxuriant and of a rather peculiar tint of chestnut. I could not dream of sacrificing it in this offhand fashion just to satisfy the whim of my employer. Your sincerely, Violet Hunter. So she had to cut her hair. Yes, that's one of the, one of the more curious stories. The speckled band. Can you move from the left for a minute? So I can. Thank you. The speckled band. This picture here is Dr. Grimesby 
right at that. And if you look in closely at what he's wearing, what is round his head? A snake. A snake, yes. A swamp adder. This was a man who set about murdering members of his his step his two stepdaughters in order to preserve his fortune. And he did so by letting the snake go from his room to their room. And kill one of the daughters. The man with the twisted lip. Sherlock Holmes. Someone find her missing husband. Up into my face. And to make myself as pitiable as possible, I made a good start the scar and fixed one side of my lip to the side with a small slip of flesh coloured plaster. Then with a red head of hair and appropriate dress, I took my station in the business part of the city, ostensibly as a match seller, but really as a beggar. For seven hours I plied my trade, and when I returned home in the evening, I found to my surprise I had received no less than 26 shillings. 26 shillings? And four pence. And what did that mean? You've made a lot of money as a beggar. Now, for the next one, you have to imagine that we're now underground. This would be Sherlock Holmes leaning down in to a hole in the cellar. Remember downstairs we saw the box with a number of different items in it. It comes from this case. This was a butler who discovered there was a hidden treasure. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, gone, he had enlisted with the help of his former lover, one of the scullery maids of the house. They had come down to collect the treasure. And she had, he had climbed down into the hole. She he handed the treasure up to her. She then pushed away the piece of wood holding the stone. The stone fell back into place, trapping her former lover, the butler, in here where he then died. And Holmes finds solves the case and finds the body several days later. The treasure is recovered from the lake. But the girl is never found again. So she doesn't run away with the money? No, she runs off with the money and then throws the, the treasure into the lake.